What's a QR code in two minutes or less? A QR code looks something like this. If you look around, you'll notice there are QR codes plastered everywhere. When you see a QR code, you pull out your phone or mobile device and it will redirect you to a web page or a video. When you go to scan in a code, you'll see something like this up on your screen. And voila, up comes the video or web page on your mobile device. What's the advantage of doing this? Why would I want to do this in the first place? Well, sometimes if you're out in the world or in the classroom, it takes a long time to write down a long, complicated address. Sometimes it's easier just to whip out your phone or tablet, scan in the code, and see the website or video. So in summary, a QR code is basically a shortcut to typing in a long, complicated address. QR codes can be as big as a building, appear in the classroom, or even show up in weird, unlikely places. However, in our workshop, we'll be passing out special cards for you to scan that will help you as you go along. Each QR code is linked to a specific video that might help you with a tricky subject that comes up in the workshop. To scan these codes, we encourage you to bring your own technology to the workshop, whether it be an Android phone, an iPod Touch or an iPhone, an iPad or any other type of tablet, or whatever you would like really. Well, maybe not this particular phone. For Android users, I would suggest QR Droid, a free and easy to use app. All you need to do is go on your Android phone or Android tablet, click on the Play Store, which will bring you to a screen like something like this. Search for QR Droid, install the app, and you're all set to go. For iPad, iPod, and iPhone users, I would suggest the app named simply called Scan. It's a great little app, easy to use, also free. On the iPad or iPhone or iPod, what you're going to do is go into the App Store, search for the word Scan by clicking right over here and typing Scan, look through the apps, and you'll see an app that looks something like this. Click Install to install it, and voila, you're done.